in a few days. Now's the tenth of Elul on the um, first of Tishrei, which is the day after the 29th of Elul. This is going to be Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is the new year for every single human being. And it is the day of judgment of every single human being. And it's the day that every human being is got to know that he's created in God Almighty's divine image. This, the Bible Chabba says, is, is our responsibility to make sure that we are going to carry this out, that we are going to bring this to the attention of every human being. Rosh Hashanah, the new year, is not celebrating the creation of the world. The creation of the world was on the 25th of Elo. It's actually celebrating the creation of man. The first man was created on Rosh Hashanah. The first woman was created on Rosh Hashanah. And that is what we're celebrating every year. And this is relevant to every single human being. Anyone who pays attention, the prayers that they're saying in the special prayer book for Rosh Hashanah would see that the prayers are, are revolving around the concept that every human being, all of creation is going to come to know that God Almighty is the creator of the entire universe and the creator of man. And every man has a purpose. Every man is being examined lovingly by God Almighty and and having a day of judgment as to what his next year is going to hold and and so forth so this is an absolute responsibility and we know at rabbismith.org we are talking about two components we have the concept of shliach 2.0 that which every jew needs to know that he is a shliach of the extension of moses in our generation which means he has a responsibility moses is the raya mehemna the shepherd of faith moses our teacher shows us the example to bring to the awareness of every person that God Almighty is lovingly recreating him and God Almighty is lovingly waiting for every human being to come back onto the smooth central central lane of life by turning away from all the distractions on the side of the road and getting back onto the main center of the smoothly paved road for a very smooth life of joy and love and, and prosperity and health and uh, this is what Moses, our teacher, is showing us that our job is to be the shepherds of faith. So that's Shliach 2.0. Every Shliach has to know every Jew is a Shliach of the Moses of our generation and extension of Moses because Moses is an extent, is extended in every generation, including every Jew has an extension of spark of Moses in him. But in addition, we talk about Shliach 3.0. Shliach 3.0 is to know that every human being is really an emissary of God Almighty. And every human being also has a responsibility to uplift and be a emissary to shepherd the faith of every other human being. So we have to now take this very seriously. This is a serious responsibility. It's nice to think that you are realize that you're created in God Almighty's divine image, but you also have to know that comes with a responsibility. God is counting on you to carry his message in the world. And the message is that the Torah is telling us that the Rosh Hashanah is the day of the new year for every single human being. Every single human being has to know that. So uh, let's come talk about a practical plan, which I'd like to enlist each one of you as a Shliach 2.0 or a Shliach 3.0 to for this Rosh Hashanah starting today to gather together. 10 or 20, if you want to do 150 or 200 or 2,000, even better. But really set yourself a goal at a minimum to get 10 or 20 human beings that are in your reach, whether it's in your reach physically or your reach technologically. But I want to speak about the reach physically because every human being has to be in contact with other human beings. In your neighborhood, whatever your neighborhood is, whether it's uh, one building based on you live in a big building or whether it's one city block or whether it's one mile or if you live in, in some rural area, it could be 10 miles is your neighborhood. There are, I would like you, I would like to challenge you to gather together 10 human beings on Rosh Hashanah to make it known to them and you will speak. Uh, we'll talk about what you're going to say, but you already know enough based on what I said so far to be able to communicate to them the specialness of this day and um, to talk to them about this is Rosh Hashanah. Now, what I'm also calling on you to do is that as a preparation for Rosh Hashanah, gather in preparation for Rosh Hashanah these same 10 people, 20 people, 2,000 people together in an earlier day in the week before Rosh Hashanah 
in a location that you will establish, whether it's your home or a gathering place or a park, wherever you want to do it. And what you'll do is you gather those people together. You're going to let me know the date and the time. And I will, God willing, speak and bring these words of Torah and uplifting and, and, and connecting everyone to their creator and speak to that group um, wherever you are in the world. We, we have the technology to speak to everybody and we will do that at the date and time that's convenient for your location. So that's what I'm making myself available the entire week before Shoshana to be available to speak to the group that you gather together. So I'm asking each one of you already have people who've contacted me and told me the date and time that they're um, taking, uh, they're, they're uh, reserving uh, community rooms and, and buildings and apartment buildings. They're gather, gathering, finding a place to do this. Um, and that this is the challenge. This is why I want to challenge you with this because we have to move out of the it's very nice to come to Rabbi Smith's learning and you're going to sit and learn with me and you're going to feel very good because who doesn't feel good hearing that God Almighty loves you and he's creating you lovingly and intentionally every instant and we have nothing to be afraid of and we have certainly God Almighty has been taking care of us and will take care of us and will always take care of us and all the things that we learn and all the learning that we do here at rabbismith.org. But to let it stay with yourself and, and feel good is only a starting point. God wants you to feel good. God wants you to feel tranquil. God wants you to be in a state of, of absolute ground in, in his oneness. But he also is demanding of us and he's charging us with the responsibility to make sure that every other human being is similarly uplifted. So you have the ability. There's no excuses. There's no, um, it doesn't matter what you think you know. You know more about Rosh Hashanah, even if all you heard from me is, is the few words I said about what Rosh Hashanah is. You already know more than the people that are going to be coming to this um, to this gathering that you're going to make. And um, so it's really, there, there's really no excuses. We have this responsibility. I'm making myself available, calling upon you to make yourself available. And we have a, 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 over a week to uh, a little under two weeks to gather people together to in preparation for that week of the third week, which is going to be when we're actually going to do these pre-Rosh Hashanah events and then Rosh Hashanah itself. Um, obviously, I can't speak on Rosh Hashanah to everybody because we can't use the technology on Rosh Hashanah, but you can gather people together if you have, uh, that you can use the same location. If there's a nearby synagogue that you can go and hear the shofar blowing um, and use all kinds of options of what you could do. But at the very least gather together and everyone be reflective on the fact that they are take time out of their day on the days of Rosh Hashanah to reflect on and recommit themselves to a, a year of living in the understanding that they are created in God Almighty's divine image. So this is the challenge. This is, I'm calling, I'd like to hear from everyone who's here. Um, email me, let me know the date and the time. And um, for the pre-Rosh Hashanah event that I could uh, come and, and be of assistance to you to help your group, uplift your group. And also let me know what you're doing in Rosh Hashanah. And then speak to everyone else who is usually here. Speak to everyone else who should be here. Speak to everyone who, and, and also all of you who are watching this as a video later on, info at rabbismith.org. And that will be... Uh, contact me with the information when and where I should be. Um, I know where I'm going to be here, God willing, but the when, your when and where, and uh, we'll be with you and, and be able to speak and uplift every human being.